Hi, Barely Sapient here. Today we're going to explore what it's like to game in Linux on a card that does not support Vulkan. Some games will work just because they do support OpenGL, and those largely uh, do seem to work in Steam and in Perl Games Launcher, for instance. Uh, like this one, uh, Civilization V seems to work fine. Proton works by converting DirectX calls into Vulkan or OpenGL if your GPU doesn't have uh, Vulkan capabilities. Now it is much more efficient to convert those DirectX calls into uh, Vulkan um, and this is why uh, cards that don't support Vulkan are going to be much much slower or just not work at all. The card I use for testing that does not have Vulkan support at all is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570. To even get this uh, GeForce GTX 570 to work in Linux, I had to install an older distro. Uh, it's not too much older. I had to install Linux Mint 21, and that still has full support until April of 2027, so it will still receive security updates. The reason I had to do that is because newer distros don't support the last version of NVIDIA drivers that actually work with this card. And that version is 390.157. And uh, yeah, newer distros of, uh, let's say, Mint, for example, or Ubuntu, or say, Bazite, etc., just don't support this old of a proprietary driver from. NVIDIA. Now the open source drivers for these older NVIDIA cards uh, just doesn't work for gaming. This was more of just a curiosity to see how an old Fermi card would handle gaming on Linux, if it, or if it even could at all. And uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend going out and getting an old Fermi card like the GTX 570, or any Fermi card for that matter. Um, these days, as they are quite old and unsupported, especially for newer games. They, they don't support uh, DirectX 12 for the most part, and they don't support Vulkan, and that's a problem. But they were powerful cards at, in their time. So I just wanted to see what you could actually get done. The problem with running games on a card like this in Linux, when it, if it doesn't support Vulkan, many games just won't run, or they'll run really, really slowly. A game like Final Fantasy XIII, which should run just fine on this hardware, and it'll launch into the menu, and that is it. It'll just get to the menu, you can select some options and stuff like that. But then when you go to start the game, um, it just doesn't work. And that's certainly a problem. I mean, this is just what not having Vulkan support will do. Sometimes a game will get in will actually launch and show some opening cinematics and get to a loading screen like this and the space does here. Funny thing was when I tried a, a version of Proton on Grand Theft Auto 4 because I tried a bunch of them out, right? I got this weird error message saying support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has ended. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Funnily enough, the only game that I was able to get running in OpenGL that didn't support Linux out of the box was Doom 2016. I tried Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition, and Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, which are all games that support OpenGL but do not have Linux ports. I could not get them to work no matter which version of Proton I used. So even games that support OpenGL is going to be spotty if it doesn't have a Linux port. It's kind of funny because Borderlands 2 actually works, but it has a Linux port. <laughs> 
but you don't even get consistency within the same game series. Rise of the Tomb Raider supports three APIs, DirectX 11, DirectX 12, and Vulkan. The Linux port supports Vulkan, so it will not run on this hardware. Getting DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 games to work in Linux requires Vulkan, so it will not run. Okay, so what happens if you try an old game like uh, Oblivion Game of the Year Edition? in uh, Linux without Vulkan. This is an old DirectX 9 title, so... Wow, even my Pentium 4 system way back in the day could run this game better than this is. Wow, that was a Pentium 4 laptop with an ATI Radeon X600. And this is a much faster machine, but under in Mint Oblivion is running like, wow, a slideshow, oh my, wow, at the lowest possible resolution that I could set the game to, Art of Rally was incredibly slow. This game isn't quite a very challenging game at all, it should be able to run on most systems, but Again, with this GPU not supporting Vulkan, uh, yeah, running Windows games is going to be a struggle um, on this GPU. It's just not going to work most of the time because you're going to get something like this. It's going to be a slideshow if it works at all. And no, in Linux Mint 21, this system will not play Crisis, not in any meaningful way anyway. Yeah, gaming on Linux with a card that doesn't support Vulkan or has limited support for Vulkan is just not going to be very good. You'll run into this um, type of slideshow, if it even opens at all, on a lot of games. Now, there are some games that will run in Linux on a card like this, and if you go in Steam, uh, to the system requirements. If you see that it has a Steam OS plus Linux tab, see how it's Windows, Mac OS, Steam Linux, you're going to look for the uh, system requirements, for it, what it says for GPU. If it says something like uh, GeForce 260 in this case, if it says something that's uh, a lower end than what you have, it's going. To, it's probably going to work. Uh, the other thing to look for is what, sometimes they'll list what drivers are needed. If it's a lower number than the, what you have installed, it'll probably work. Now, in Pro Games Launcher, what you can do, uh, all you can really do is say you have, um, you can do, uh, since this card doesn't support Vulkan, you can look at, uh, you can filter it out for Linux only. And that doesn't leave very many games in the, this library here that I have mine in Hero Games Launcher. Uh, Steam has probably more titles that support Linux outright than the other platforms. But yeah, game support is going to be very limited. So Doom 2016 is an example of a game that doesn't have a Linux port, yet supports OpenGL. It also supports Vulkan, and if your GPU supports Vulkan, it'll run faster on it, hands down. But it will run in Linux Mint 21 on a GeForce GTX 570, because it does support uh, OpenGL. It's not the best experience. It's going to be somewhere between 30 and 60 uh, throughout gameplay most of the time. If there's any action on screen, it's going to be closer to 30, like if you're in a fight against a bunch of enemies like I am here, um, but it's certainly playable. It's not the most ideal experience. Um, this is at 900p with uh, the graphics settings to low in the menus. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is another game that came out in 2016 that will run on this hardware in Linux Mint. Now, it takes forever to load and 
Its performance is not very good, but it runs. Yeah, it takes over eight minutes to load on this system. Uh, that's uh, insane. Running the in-game benchmark at 720p at the lowest settings. And the results were maybe barely playable. <clears throat> maybe. <clears throat> I mean, the minimums are kind of concerning at this point. Total War Medieval 2 is an example of an older game that supports the OpenGL. And that seems to work fine in, on this hardware and Linux as well. Uh, the campaign map is fast and responsive. And when you get into battle, it's, uh, it works just fine. Total War Warhammer uh, seems to work fine as, as well, albeit at low settings at 900p, but it's certainly playable. Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War 2 seems to work okay, even at ultra settings. I might have turned down the settings a little bit, but it works. Divinity 2 is another game that supports OpenGL and has a Linux port, so it works on uh, this hardware and Linux just fine. Stellaris is another game from 2016 that has a Linux port that apparently supports OpenGL and this hardware. Um, it seems to run fine. This is a game, safe game from about a hundred plus years into the game. So not definitely not early game and uh, it seems to be working uh, responsibly fine. Uh, yeah, uh, this game is definitely playable. Of course, a uh, high frame rate isn't even necessary for something like this, but it seems to be doing fine anyway. Alien Isolation is another game that has a Linux port and uses OpenGL and seems to work fine on this card, although you do have to turn it down to 720p and set the uh, graphics options to low. Uh, but it does work and it seems to work fine. Um, this is a Pretty much what it's like uh, gaming on something like this is your options are limited and because of the age of this hardware it's going to be older games. So gaming in Linux on a card that doesn't support Vulkan is a mess. Most games are just not going to work or work really slowly. Um, there's going to be a few bright spots but for the most part it's just not recommended. Counter-Strike 2 is one of the few multiplayer games that's really popular and does work on Linux and it will work on this hardware in Windows uh, but it can't work in uh, Linux because it requires uh, Vulkan basically on this hardware. Uh, the GTX 500 series, this uh, 570, just isn't quite enough to, it just it doesn't have the support and won't run this game. In Windows, Art of Rally works fine on this hardware. Although I can't really drive. <laughs> and of course Oblivion um, works fine on much, much older hardware than this in Windows, so definitely fine on this NVIDIA GPU. GTA 4 of course just works in Windows and uh, works pretty well on this hardware. Uh, doesn't seem to skip a beat. Skyrim also works in Windows 10 on this hardware with no problems whereas in Linux you cannot get this game to run and this is the original version of Skyrim could probably even get the uh, Skyrim Special Edition to work, although it's going to be much lower performance in Windows. Also, um, you know, Rise of the Tomb Raider works on Windows 10 on this hardware. Endless Space 2 also works in Windows 10 on this hardware. So in other words, there's a lot of games that work 
on Windows 10 on this hardware. While they won't work in Linux, this hardware, uh, the GTX 570 specifically, and Fermi in general, has much, much better support in Windows 10, hands down. To be fair, in Windows 10, um, Counter-Strike 2 doesn't run well enough to be very competitive. And while it does have better support for a lot of games in Windows 10 and 11 than it does in Linux, it's still going to have very limited support for games that use DirectX 12. A lot of them won't launch. For just a little bit more money, you could get a GTX 900 series or an RX 400 series on the AMD side and open a whole lot more compatibility for games in Linux. And more performance in Windows as well. Well, gaming on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570 in Linux gives a snapshot of what it was like to game in Linux before Proton existed. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you like the video and comments are always welcome.